What's up guys, Andy Drifter here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope your day is going well. Yes, I'm still rocking my Eagles gear. I am disappointed by Sunday's result. I felt like that foul should not have been called, but the Chiefs are this year's champs, so hats off to them. This is gonna be an SGC reveal video. I just got back six slabs. I'm gonna show them to you now. I am pretty pleased with three of the grades, not so pleased with the other three. Check them out and tell me what you think. I suppose we can start things off on a high note. This here is a 2022 Allen & Ginter mini stained glass insert of Mike Trout, and it came back as a dime. Last year, Trout had another top 10 MVP finish, another 40 home run season despite missing over 40 games. This year, should he stay healthy, he has a shot to get to 1,000 career RBI. He only needs four more doubles to get to 300 for his career. He sits at 350 home runs, so he has a chance to move up the ranks on the all-time home run list. Nobody questions his talent. It's his durability. Last year, he was diagnosed with some sort of spinal condition. The doctor said that it is not career-threatening. After he came back, he was hitting home runs at a feverish pace. So I, along with other baseball fans, are excited to see what Mike Trout and Shohei Otani can do in 2023. Now we go to one of the disappointments that I got back from SGC. This here is a 2021 White Sparkle Prism variant of Gronk. Came back as an 8. I was really hoping for at least a 9. Now I knew there were issues with the centering. If you look at the top half as opposed to the bottom half, there is some unevenness there. Now I have heard from various collectors that a grade 7 is the same as a raw grading. I've also read that about an 8. So I don't know. This card, I have seen it valued in its raw form in the $350 to $400 range. Gronk, who knows what his future holds. You hear these rumors every now and again. May he come back in 2023. He threw a little teaser there with Sean Payton. They were doing some back and forth in their skit that he might come back for the Broncos. I don't know. I mean, he looks to be in great shape. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see. But yeah, that's the second card that I have for you in this video. Now I knew there were issues with this card prior to submission. This is an autograph NBA Hoops rookie card of Trey Young from the Atlanta Hawks. The corners were dinged up. Truth be told, I'm lucky it came back as a 7. But the silver lining is that the autograph got a 10. Trey Young, two-time All-Star, one of the biggest names in the NBA. The Hawks right now, they are at 500 and they sit at the 8th seed in the Eastern Conference. Not much else to say. I'm just glad that I sent it off to get a grade so I see where I stand as opposed to holding on to a raw version of this card. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll keep it. But that is the third slab that I got for you today. From last year's Panini Impeccable set, this is a Stainless Stars rookie card auto of Alperen Shengun. And unfortunately, the grading was not too impeccable. Came back as just a 7. I know that these thicker cards don't always grade so well. But a 7? Maybe I'm missing something here. The centering looks on point. The edges looked clean. Perhaps I will bust this case open, clean it up, resubmit it. Who knows how much of a difference that will make. As far as Shengun, he is one of the brightest young stars in the NBA. He's got the size to bully people in the paint. But he's got some sweet moves for a big man as well. Nice combination. Unfortunately, he plays for the Rockets. They are in dead last. They got the worst record in the NBA. Rest assured, they will get another high draft pick. Perhaps that will help their chances but this year they are done. Probably they'll start tanking after the All-Star break to secure that number one draft pick. But yeah, there you go. An autographed rookie card of Alperin Shangun came back as just a seven. I will conclude this video on a high note. You are looking at photon prisms of two of the fastest rising stars in UFC. On your left is Hamzat Kimeyev. And on your right is Sugar Shot O'Malley. I was lucky enough to pull these cards in back-to-back -back days. I can't explain it. January was a very lucky month for me. Hamzat, he is 12-0 in his MMA career. 
His last three victories have come at a record pace of 66 days. Paulo Costa recently did some trash talking towards Hamzat, saying that those three wins came against rather easy opponents, and he is taking a fast and cheap route to getting the dubs. As far as Sugar Sean O'Malley, he is currently the number one ranked bantamweight, and Dana White said a few days ago that he will be fighting for that bantamweight title this summer. So I am excited to see what these two fighters have in store. Sugar Sean is definitely a fan favorite. Very exciting. He's got the moves. So that is it for this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. I am so fortunate to have crossed 600 subscribers. For me, that is a big number. For others, that is a small number. But I am grateful for that. Have a great day. And I'll be back later on tonight with some more uploads and breaks.